Hi, this is Liz with Egghead Fixers. Today we're going to assessing how to fix an Acer with a no bootable device or no boot device found problem. First thing you're going to do is hit power and start tapping on F2. As a certified repair technician, this is the first thing I would do if I was on a call. Now, you go into BIOS, getting in closer, and you're going to adjust the settings because this is the number one cause is improperly set BIOS settings for a no bootable device error. So first, make sure your date and time settings are correct using your arrow and tab key. Adjust them to the current time. This causes a boot loop problem, so these need to be set correctly. All right, moving on to the next thing that needs to be fixed. Your, uh, on your boot on your boot page using your arrow key you get to it make sure that Windows Boot Manager or it sometimes listed as your hard drive or your solid state drive is listed first in the boot order. Uh, next thing next thing we're going to do is reverse your settings sometimes when you use a power loss or something like that these these settings can get lost and improperly set. But as you can see what I'm doing now is selecting them and switching them. So for example if your boot mode was set to legacy and secure boot was disabled you would switch it to boot mode UEFI secure boot enabled if your boot mode was set to UEFI with secure boot enabled, you would then switch it to boot mode legacy secure boot disabled. If you're switching that setting, you would restart it. The reason is you're trying to figure out which one your computer needs to function properly because when they get misset, uh, it causes a no bootable device error. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to use our arrow key to go to the left uh, and we're going to go to that main page and now we're going to go to the SATA mode because if that those settings didn't fix it, this might. Switching between AHC, AHCI and IDE. Uh, switch to the opposite one. Once again, try restarting your computer. So each time you change one of these settings, try restarting it and see if it remedies the problem. If it doesn't remedy the problem, it means we need to move on to the next step in the diagnostic process. As a computer repair technician, I would try these steps first because they're the easiest and most likely, and then I would move on to the next step, which is to, to try to reinstall your operating system. We have a video down below on how to do that. Sometimes your operating system gets corrupt, and then your computer can no longer access it, causing a no bootable device problem. Next thing also you can do is try Try reseating your hard drive, which is just unplugging it and plugging it back in. I know it's crazy, but it not being connected co properly can cause this problem. And to my final reason, this is the saddest one of all. If you find that you've reseated it, you've done the settings, and you've reinstalled it, still not working, you may need a new hard drive. Sometimes they just go. I know it's sad. But you can always use it as an opportunity to upgrade. Uh, in the video down below, we show you how to re re to install a new hard drive and how some give you some advice on how to upgrade. Have any questions? Leave them down below, and we'll do our best to help you get through this. Thanks for watching our video. If you found it in any way helpful, please like and share. If you like do-it-yourself computer repair videos, then go ahead and subscribe. If you have any questions or some great ideas for some videos, leave them down below and one of our certified technicians will respond as quickly as possible. Anyway, from one egghead to another egghead, this is Liz signing out.